Bishop of Michigan Wellbeing Coordinator. And today we will be doing a full body body weight boot camp. Um, so go at your own pace, have water nearby, always listen to your body, modify it to meet your needs. Um, and I will provide modifications, but if you need any others or you know kind of how to adjust it, then feel free to do so. Um, but always consult with your physician before any physical activity, especially with any pre-existing conditions. Um, so we'll get started in a couple minutes, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this little workout. Welcome, welcome. We'll get started in about a minute, warming up. Okay, so we're going to get warmed up, our body's moving, keep the water nearby, um, like you're only going to need kind of like a bench if you need to do any modifications, or a chair, or a couch, stairs, whatever that may be, but we'll get started warming up with today's session, and we're going to start by bringing our hands up kind of into like that raise the roof motion. Bringing our knees up to our elbows, kind of walking that out. Getting our side core muscles going. Awesome. And then we're going to add kind of like a raise the roof motion as we raise those legs up. Kind of challenging our minds. And relax. Now we're going to open and close. Open and close for like a front fly. We're going to start out with a little cardio ladder. It'll be three exercises. We're going to go from 45 seconds, 30 to 20 seconds, and then back up. I might have a little friend with me again today who likes to play on the computer. And now we're going to do high knees, so marching it in place, bringing those knees up to your chest. Keep marching it, moving those arms. And now we're going to march it side to side, practicing our lateral movements. Just getting that blood flow. Keep marching. One more time, and relax. Now we're going to do big arm circles. That's your warming up your arms, moving them forward, and then going backwards. I'm going to explain the first exercise that we're going to do as you keep warming up. So this first one is going to be a shuffle. So when I say jump, you'll do a jump or you'll squat. So you're going to shuffle in place, kind of quick feet, and you either can jump up, or you can take it down for a squat, when I say jump or squat. So we're going to be shuffling in place, 45 seconds. Anytime I yell jump or squat, that's when you'll jump or squat. Ready? Let's go. 45 seconds, quick feet. Jump or squat, so either jump or you're squatting. Keep going, quick feet, quick feet, jump or squat. Quick feet, quick feet, ground's on fire, move those arms. And jump or squat. Jump or squat. Jump or squat. Keep moving, keep moving. Jump or squat. Keep it up, move those arms. Pick those feet up faster, faster. One last jump or squat. And down. Relax. The next one is going to be high knees, so you're just going to be bringing those knees up, kind of running in place or marching in place. We'll begin in three, two, thirty seconds. 
Let's go. High knees, bringing those knees up, marching, or you're running. Using those arms, breathe. Going at your pace, picking it up when you feel like you could go faster. Woo! You have five seconds. Three, two, and down. Relax, breathe. The next one is gonna be a side shuffle. So we're gonna shuffle nice and low to the ground, staring straight forward. We'll begin in three, two, let's go. Shuffling side to side. Stay nice and low in that little squat position. Facing forward, chest up.
elbow going slowly down into that squat position, and then we're exploding up, squeezing those glutes. So nice and slow down, explode up. And we're off, slow, 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 on your way down, and then explode up, squeezing those glutes. Slow, slow, slow down, up and squeeze the glutes. We're resisting gravity. Got this, use that power in your legs. One more, let's go. And down, woo! We're gonna go back up to the top. So, going back to that slow tempo squat. 20 seconds on the clock for this one. Take a deep breath, and we're off. Slow, 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 slow. Explode up, squeeze those glutes. Making our legs work. Woo! Keep it up nice and slow. Resist that gravity. Three, two, and down. Woo! <laughs> so next one, we're doing that side lateral squat, bringing ourselves back to center. 30 seconds on the clock for this one. Begin in three, two, let's go. Crossing off that outside leg. Exploding back up to that center standing position. Breathing. <laughs> Woo! Ten seconds. Three, two, and down. Woo! Break. We're going to go back to those front leg squats for 45 seconds. So we're going to have our feet closer than shoulder width. We're going to work the front of our legs. 45 seconds. And begin, sitting back in that chair, exploding up, squeezing those glutes. Sit back in that chair, squeeze those glutes. Keeping that chest high. Gaze forward. Got this, building strong legs. Woo! Keep it up. I like the punches. Three, two, and down. Give those legs a shake. We're gonna go back down the ladder. So we're gonna start with this one again, go back down, and then we'll end up using our upper body on the last part of the workout. So take a deep breath. Front squats again. And we're off, down and up. Really giving those legs a good workout today, squeezing those glutes, exploding up, building a good strong foundation on our legs. Woo, keep it up, over halfway. Relax. 
you're in that extended plank position, same thing, just turning to the side, opening up that chest. We have 45 seconds on the clock for this exercise. Woo, take a deep breath, and we're off. Pick your poison, either on your forearm, or in that push-up position. Moving and breathing. Halfway through. Stay focused on the movement. Breathe. Ten seconds to go. And down. Relax. Woo! Next one is going to be, you're going to need like a um, bench or um, a bench, or you can try to do them on the ground. The bench will kind of help take the pressure off the exercise, or like a chair or couch. What you're going to do is you're going to do a reverse grip. So normally when we do our push-ups like this way, you're going to turn your hands around, and they're going to be kind of facing away towards your leg. So you're going to be in that push-up position, then you're going to bend those elbows towards you, and then press back up. Bend those elbows towards you, press back up. You might not get all the way down, but on the ground it will kind of look similar. Reversing, bending, and extending. Bend and extend. 30 seconds, and we're off. Bending those elbows and then pressing back up. Bend those elbows, press back up. Keeping those elbows nice and close. Breathe. Keep it up. Three, two, and down. Give those arms a shake. Okay, so we're going to go stay on the ground, and we're going to go down to our stomach. And what we're going to do is we're going to do Superman swims. So I'm going to have you lift up your upper half, and you're going to swim your arms out to the side, and then back in front of you. Out to the side, back in front of you, kind of like a breaststroke, but you're just moving them back and forth, keeping that upper chest off the ground. 20 seconds on the clock, and begin. Lifting that chest off the ground. Bringing those arms back, those elbows towards your back, and then bringing them forward just so your hands meet. Breathe. You got this. Three, two, and down. Stretch it out you need to. Okay. We're going back up that ladder, so we'll start with those supermans again. We're going to lay on our chest, 20 seconds, on the clock, repeating that exercise, and let's go. Lifting that chest off the ground, bringing those arms back, and four. Breathing throughout. You got it. Three, two, and relax. Either staying on the ground or you're going up to your bench for that reverse grip, tricep push up. So turning your hands slightly instead of in front of you, behind, or facing towards you, and going down and up. We'll begin in three, two, Let's go. Keep those elbows close. Getting as low as you can. If this bothers your wrist at all, what I would want you to do is to do, um, oops, instead of tricep push-ups, you could do 
um, against the wall as well. Just normal tricep push-ups against the wall. And down, relax. Going back down to the ground for those planks to side planks. Ready, get in position, and we're off. 45 seconds on the clock. We're breathing, we're moving, focusing on the movement, nice and slow and steady. It's not a race. You got it. Almost there. Ten seconds. Three, two, and relax. We're going to go back down the ladder, so we're going to start back with that exercise again. Take a deep breath. One more time through, we're going to go. Back to our forearms or extended arm position. And we're off again, 45 seconds. Nice and slow and controlled. You can always drop to your knee and do it that way. you need to. Almost there. Ten seconds. Three, two, and down. Stretch it out. We're going back up to those reverse push-ups. Remember, you can do this against the wall. Two, just normal tricep push-ups, taking the weight off your wrist off your body. So turn those wrists around if you're doing this exercise. Going down to that position. And we're off. 30 seconds. Keeping those elbows close to your rib cage so they're grazing against them. And down. Relax. Woo! We're going to stay on the ground. Finish up with some core. So you got about five minutes left in class. Core and some glute bridges. So, for these glute bridges, I'm going to have you keep those heels close to those glutes. I'm going to have you pull those hips up towards the ceiling, back down, and then you're going to reach up for a crunch. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock, and we're off. Going up to that glute bridge, squeezing those glutes. Back down, reach up, bringing that upper back off the ground for a crunch. Up to squeeze, up for a crunch. Up for a squeeze, up for a crunch. You got it. Squeeze that core together. Three, two, and down. 
glutes, and you're going to switch your legs like so, keeping that lower half of your back connected to the ground, and we're up, 30 seconds, breathe, got it. that lower back connected to the ground. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Going back to that glute bridge. This time, I'm going to have you move your feet out just a little further away from your glutes. You're going to lift up to that bridge, back down, for a crunch. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Up to that glute bridge, squeeze those glutes, back down to the ground, up for a crunch. Up, squeeze, up for a crunch. Use that core, crunch it up. Driving those hips up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and down. Relax. Okay. We're going to do those scissors one more time. Hands go underneath your glutes. And we're off. Scissor kicking, alternating your legs. Keep that lower back connected to the ground. You're breathing. Focus on your breath. Woo! Keep it up. Three, two, and down. Relax. Last exercise, we're going to bring our heels close to our glutes. We're going to lift our upper back off the ground. We're going to reach for our toes side to side. Reaching for the side, our foot, our toe area. Okay, and we're off. Finishing strong. Reaching for the side of that foot. Keeping that upper back off the ground, gazing towards the ceiling. We got this. Keep it up. Three, two, and relax. Woo! And that is all I have for you today for our full body workout. And we have two minutes to spare. <laughs> two minutes to catch your breath. Get an extra drink. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. <laughs> have a good rest of your day.
Okay, so we're going to get started with today's workout. I have a little friend with me who wanted to come and join us for today's session. Okay, so to kind of get ready, we're going to start with some deep, just deep breathing, sitting in that comfortable position, getting our core warmed up, and we're going to add some stretching, some core work, um, nothing too crazy, and then um, we'll kind of finish up with a little light, deep breathing again. So, sit in that comfortable position, take a nice deep breath in, filling those lungs up with air and releasing. Just focus on that breath work. 